would like to welcome you all to another Kali Tutors tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we'll be focusing on ENN 1504 assignment number two. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to get access to the latest videos the moment that we upload them. If you haven't downloaded our application, please go to Google Play and download the Kali Tutors app. Without wasting your time, let us read the background information for assignment 2 and try to answer the questions. If you haven't looked at your uh, assignment 2 question paper, uh, this information was taken directly from that question paper, okay? I am going to read this information so that those of you who haven't really looked at the question paper can benefit and understand where we are going with this uh, tutorial session. Okay, uh, this uh, information reads as follows. Save Lives, a non-profit organization, received donations on behalf of communities affected by recent devastating floods. Several complaints were lodged by residents of Progressville who claimed that they did not receive the vouchers intended for them. Some residents claimed that the Save Lives staff favored their friends and accepted bribes from the recipients of the vouchers. The donors are unhappy that their money was not well spent and Ms. Solomons, director of Save Lives, requested an investigation to be conducted into the veracity of the fraud accusation reported by the Progressville residents. Given the information that we just read now, let us move forward and look at the instructions for this assignment, okay? But we need to come back to this information later and extract some key information that we'll need to present as part of the investigative report, okay? Let us move to the instructions slide. The information that is presented on this slide was taken directly from your question paper, okay? I'm just going to read this and explain what is expected from you, okay? It reads as follows. As the corporate officer of Save Lives, you have been commissioned by the company director, Ms. Solomons, to investigate the veracity of the fraud accusations reported by the Progressville residents. The report, including recommendations, should be submitted on 30 May 2023. Your report should be at least two to three pages in length. Uh, use the following headings and subheadings, okay? The first thing that you should include in your report is the title, which will then be followed by the terms of reference, uh, which will be followed by procedures, which will be followed by findings, and then conclusions, then recommendations, and lastly, you must include the compiler's details and date of submission. If you look at the information that uh, we just listed here, uh, you will notice that the title is not numbered, uh, but the terms of reference all the way to the recommendations uh, are actually numbered, okay? That is exactly what you're supposed to do in this uh, report. Your terms of reference will be your number one, uh, which will be followed by your procedures, which will be your number two. But under procedures, you will have uh, a list of st of steps that you you will have taken to investigate the matter. Okay, so you might have or you will have 2.1, 2.2, uh, maybe up to 2.6 or 2. Point, it's up to you. But the minimum that you should aim for is uh, like four subheadings. Okay, so you might have 2.1 up to 2.4, but don't aim for anything less than that. Okay. So under your procedures, you will state what you have done, okay, as 2.1 and the reason for doing that, uh, okay? Then after doing that, you will link what you have done under 2.1 with the findings, okay? Uh, since you have done one, two, three, okay? What did you, what, did, wh what was the outcome, okay? Then you write that here and then uh, your conclusion here, you will combine or you will synthesize the information Okay, and your recommendations, this is where uh, you will suggest, you'll make suggestions, okay, the way forward, okay? So, okay, let me not uh, bore you with this information because we are still going to discuss uh, each and every 
item on this particular list here. So we'll start with the title, go into details as to what is expected from you. Okay, then we'll move on to the terms of references. Uh, okay, I think these two will be you know, on the same video, the title and the terms of references. And then we'll create a complete video for procedures, a complete video for findings, and so on. Okay, so let us move on now to discuss the title in more details. I am sure that some of you are now curious as to what type of information you should include in the title of an investigative report, okay? The first thing is to indicate what the document is, okay? So after telling us what the document is, you will tell us what the document is about, okay? Like uh, in our case, you will tell us that this document is actually a report, and then you will also go on to tell us Okay, it's a report on an investigation into something else, okay? So you're telling us what the document is and what is it is about, I mean. Okay, so here are some of the things that you need to remember when writing your title. Make sure that all the letters are in caps. Make sure that your title is not numbered. Make sure that there is no full stop at the end of your title, okay? So my rule of thumb when writing uh, a title of a report is, I start like this, okay? A report on an investigation into, and then I state whatever I, 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 I'd be investigating at that particular time, okay? So this is a good rule of thumb that you can use, okay? Let us move on now to look at uh, the ex an example. We are going to use our current assignment, okay? Or we'll, we'll come up with a title for our current assignment, okay? So let's move to an example. Okay, so this is a typical skeleton of your investigative report, okay? So my title in this case will be a report on the investigation into allegations of fraud level by progressive field residents against Save Lives staff members, okay? As you can see here, there is no full stop, there is no numbering. Then after stating this title here, uh, just underneath it, you will write your number one, okay? This is gonna be your terms of reference, okay? So after writing your terms of reference, you'll include the other parts here, all the way to the compiler's details, okay? So this is basically what is expected from you when you're writing your title. You don't have to copy this one here, but if you feel like this makes sense for you, you can take it as it is. I don't think uh, you'll be flagged as someone who plagiarized because, come on, how many ways can you write the title? Okay, yeah, okay. So let's move on now to look at the terms of reference and discuss what is expected from you under the terms of reference. The purpose of the terms of reference is to provide background information about the investigation. This includes information such as uh, who commissioned whom. You need to give us the name and position of the person who authorized uh, the investigation. You also must provide the name and position of the person who was authorized to conduct the investigation. You must also state why the investigation had to be conducted. For example, for our assignment, uh, the investigation had to be conducted to determine the veracity of the allegations of fraud leveled by Progressville residents against Save Life staff members. Okay, you must also provide or include the submission date. Okay, for our assignment, we were told when we were reading the background information that uh, the report was expected to be handed uh, over to them to Miss Solomon's on the 30th of May 2023. Such information must also be included in the terms of reference, okay? Uh, you will notice that we were not told when uh, Ms. Solomons actually commissioned the investigations. If you will come across a case like this where there is missing information that has to be included, you have to make up your own date, okay? Come up with your own date. Remember, uh, whatever we're doing under ENN, uh, 1504, we, it's like fictitious. It's not real companies, it's made up stuff. So if there is missing information, 
make sure that you come up with your own dates, okay? So let us look at an example of how to write your terms of reference for this particular assignment, okay? Uh, given all that we have discussed so far, uh, this is what my terms of reference will look like, okay? Please note that uh, I have numbered this here, so you should do the same. You should number terms of reference. You, you can make, it, make this one bold if you want, okay? It doesn't really matter, but it must be numbered, okay? Then underneath the, the, uh, the, the title terms of reference, uh, you need to have one paragraph, okay? Just like this one. So my terms of reference reads as follows. On 1 January 2023, Ms. Solomons, the director at Saves Lives, uh, requested Mr. Kali Tutas, the corporate officer, to investigate the veracity of the allegations of fraud leveled by Progressville residents against Save Lives staff members. The report, including recommendations, was due on 30 May 2023. You'll notice that I have included a date here when this actual report was commissioned. Uh, you can come up with your own date. Remember, it's fictitious. We are making up things here. Uh, we were not given this information. We know that this information is required under terms of reference. So you can come up with your own dates, but it should make sense. Don't come up with a date that is later than 30 May 2023. Come on, guys. That wouldn't make sense. Okay, so uh, let us move on now to look at uh, procedures, okay? Procedures must come right after your terms of reference. In this section, you explain the methods you use to gather information needed to draw a conclusion regarding the matter being investigated. So when someone is reading your, proce your procedures, it must be clear which methods and sources of information were used during the investigation. Okay, so some of the methods that you could use to find information includes uh, questionnaires, interviews, consultations, meetings, research, uh, documents, personal visits, and observations, okay? The actions taken are guided by the type of investigation being conducted. In the next few slides, we are going to look at the steps that you could have followed uh, to investigate the fraud uh, allegations, okay?